Tennessee State head coach Eddie George, the team uh, played at Notre Dame this past weekend. Uh, they'll be back into action. The Southern Heritage Classic, Arkansas Pine Bluff is the opponent this year, Saturday night in Memphis. So, Coach, just I know you talked about it after the game, but just some thoughts on your team and that Notre Dame experience. Yeah, um, I again, you know, um, it was a, a, a challenge for us going up in there. I think we all knew that. Um, one thing that we wanted to do was go in there and compete. Uh, we were not going to be overwhelmed or wide-eyed about the experience there. Um, I think our kids handled it really well. Um, they were uh, really uh, excited about the opportunity. Um, you look at the first quarter, and uh, there were some missed opportunities for us to go ahead and score, uh, to be up in the game going into the second quarter. I mean, you know, the opening drive, they go down and score seven, and how do we respond? That was – I wanted to see how we are going to respond. Well, we responded well on offense. We went down um, after uh, the first big play. It was a 15-yard run by a running back. was called back by a penalty, overcame that, put together a 15-play drive uh, to, to kick a field goal, and then the ensuing kickoff, we caused a fumble, and the ball's in the 13-yard line. And uh, you can sense that, hey, you know, we came to play. We came to compete. Um, we missed a field goal thereafter. And then that's when um, Notre Dame just kind of leaned on us a little bit. You know, when I look at it overall, um, I felt like in the trenches, we we really emphasized, you know, heavy conflict. And I think we met the challenge with that on both sides of the football. Um, our defensive line, you know, had some success against the run. Uh, when it was time for passing downs, you know, we, we created some opportunities to get some sacks. Um, but for the most part, against a team like Notre Dame, you can't afford to make mistakes. And they took advantage of those mistakes that we made. Poor uh, eye discipline in the back end, our secondary. Uh, left some guys wide open. Um, uh, missed run fits. Missed opportunities on the third down to get the quarterback down uh, for a sack. Missed him in the hole. And a lot of that has to be with first-game jitters. You know, that team, uh, Notre Dame, played a week before us, and uh, they are one week ahead of us. And, you know, like every coach on this call, you know, every team gets better from week one to week two. But the one thing I wanted to see, I'm not worried about the, the end result, was um, did we compete all the way through? And um, are the mistakes that we made correctable? And those, the answer is yes. Um and what did we learn? I think we've learned that, hey, when we have an opportunity to execute and take control of a game in those moments, we've got to execute and do that. We, we dropped the ball <laughs> on the one-yard line um, during that drive. So there were some encouraging things that I saw, uh, some things we definitely got to uh, clean up on uh, from all three phases. Um, and I'm just excited to uh, look for looking forward to competing against Arkansas Pine Bluff this week. And it's going to be another challenge for us to um, take on a team that's going to play extremely hard. We're all buying and hungry for a win. And this is um, our opportunity to go in, to go down to Memphis and win Southern Harris, Harris Classic, a game that we haven't won since I've been here. So the incentive is there. The um the motivation is there, and we just got to have a, a great week of practice um, in order to get ready for the challenge. Perfect. Thanks, Coach. we got some questions here. We'll go Mike and then Brandon. Mike, go ahead. Eddie, in the first two weeks, your team will have played uh, in front of well over 100,000 people, uh, not counting television. Uh, are there advantages uh, to playing back-to-back high-profile games for a program, program like yours? Yes, I mean it really is. When you can play in front of that 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 uh, many people, you feed off the energy. Um, whether you're on the road or at home or a neutral site, you feel the energy. Um, so we were, we were played in front of a hundred thousand in one week, in <laughs> two weeks. But then you know once we get in the conference, we might play in front of six. So we've got to figure out you know how do we generate our own energy and our own enthusiasm um, when it's not that many people in the stands. So. Um, it makes a big difference, you know, when we can play in front of uh, an audience or a, a crowd of attendees um, or that many that's interested in the ball game. My only other question is uh, you had said you wanted to settle on one quarterback. Do you anticipate doing that uh, for this game? Do you expect to have one quarterback or you continue to alternate? Um, we're, we're going to continue to alternate right now, I think. Stretch has still um, done some good things in terms of quarterbacking, leading our, our team 
to good opportunities, although he's made some critical errors last week, you know, two, two, three turnovers. One, the fumble was uh, recovered by our, our guy, but mm-hmm. two turnovers, uh, two interceptions, and one that led to a touchdown. You know, he's got to get better with that. And he needs – the more reps that he gets, the better I think he'll get. Because, of course, Draylon, um, you know, did not have a spring to, to really knock off the dust. Um, but he's improving, he's competing. And I think anytime you can have two guys that are competing and raising that level of competition there, um, that's what we're going to do. Thanks, Eddie. Brandon, go ahead. Good morning, Coach. How you doing? Good morning. How you doing, Brandon? Pretty good, pretty good. Um, have you had a chance to uh, to check out any uh, of UAPB? Um, I know they, they just came off a, a loss against – uh, Tulsa and and there was a lot of similarities in, in how that game played out in, in terms of them getting out kind of early and it, and it kind of got away from them. Um, can you can you talk to uh, you know what uh, Pine Bluff what challenges they're they're going to bring uh, on Saturday? Yeah, they have a so defensively they have a, an active defensive front created some opportunities. I think they had three picks. Uh, on the day, you know, opened up with a, a pick um, that led to their first score. Uh, very active on the back end, um, aggressive linebackers. They do a lot up front um, in terms of games and speed. So they they play with their hair on fire. Uh, they, they, they were competing throughout, even when they were down. You know, their body language told me that they are still, still in this game and they're uh, engaged and ne- they did not quit. You know, and that's and that's that's the biggest thing I told our team is that hey, you know, this team is hungry for success. They're well coached, um, first year staff. So you know, we are going to have our hands full. And it's going to be interesting to see. You look at the offensive side of the football; they got a couple of receivers that are that are that are really quick in space, um, in short space. They can take it to the house. The running backs are, are really good. Uh, I can't think of his name, but number thirty-two uh, seems like he is the guy. You know, he gets on the uh, the perimeter. He can make guys miss. He has great balance, good vision. Um, quarterbacks are solid. Um, kind of a big guy. I think uh, the, the their starter went down with a shoulder injury. I don't know the, the status for him this week, but um, he's made some plays that catches your eye. So when you look at this unit, um, certainly, you know, under a new staff, they're tr- still trying to figure things out. But in terms of effort and energy, man, it jumps off the tape at you. So they definitely got our attention with that. And it's going to, we have to be mindful of that coming in, that we have to match that energy or exceed that energy with discipline and uh, and focus because um, it's, it's going to be a hard-fought battle for sure. Okay. And just a, a quick follow-up. In terms of, of health, um, were you able to kind of make it out of the game without any injuries or, you know, what's the, the health status of the team right now? Yeah, relatively speaking, you know, a little dinged up here and there. Guys a little sore. Um, we got a couple of shoulders, um, a groin here or there. But for the most part, no major season-ending injuries, knock on wood. I mean, when you play in a game like that, you're, you're just praying that you make it out healthy. I mean, pretty much any game. But when you're playing an opponent like Notre Dame, um, you know that the depth – is 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 uh, not on equal ground. So, um, but our guys handled it well, and I think they're ready to go this week. Sorry, my my dog agrees with me. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, no worries. Yeah, I know, no I know, worries. baby, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I got mine downstairs, so I I, I definitely understand. <laughs> I got one more for you, Coach, and we'll let you go. Just you know, you talked about you know hadn't won the Southern Heritage Classic and in, in that atmosphere. Go maybe a little bit more into that because it's. You played Jackson State last year too, but just uh, what that can, what this does for your program to year in, year in and year out playing this game. Yeah, I mean Memphis is a, is a hot recruiting bed background for us. Um, in the last two years of going down there, we make it a point to get out to the local high schools, watch a couple games, see some recruits, um, and it's very important for us to have uh, a presence there. And is is great for college football. It's great for both programs. It's great for HBCUs to have a game in Memphis. Um, it brings a great deal of uh, revenue and excitement and energy in that area. Um, and it, it's something that our fan base is very passionate about. And something that I, I have circled on my calendar to say, hey, we this is a game that 
we must be successful in. You know, Jackson State posed a, you know, we know what they were the last couple of years. Um, last year, I felt like we played well enough to win, but but we didn't get enough offense to 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 make a difference in the game. Uh, so I'm just praying that this year, you know, the the the, the tables have turned and it, it, it turns in our favor. Um, and uh, you know, again, being in Memphis is huge for our footprint of Tennessee State. Um, and the exposure. All right, Coach. We'll appreciate your time this morning. Best of luck this weekend. We'll talk to you next Tuesday. All right. Thanks, guys.